One of the beauties of a C4 Corvette is if you want it to be a convertible, it can be a convertible. You pop off the target top, which is one of the first full target top roofs there was. Now the cool part is that you can take it off, put it in the back, have your tar the target top with you, take off, go for a ride, rain comes up, no problem, stop, pull that target top out, bolt it back on and you're on your way. Just that easy. And always, always remember to bolt it back on. But I'm going to show you how I take it off, how easy it is to store in the back, and how much fun it is when you have it off. Okay, one of the first things you got to have is the right tool to unlock the target top and, of course, to tighten it back up. And the C4 comes with the proper tool. Now, in your little glove compartment, per se, that's where the tool fits and stays. There's actually a holder for it so it don't rattle around and uh, make noise while you're driving. This right here has the perfect top that will go in and get into the bolt that you need to tighten and loosen. And it even has a little bit so you can use your thumb and finger when it gets real loose. Plus you go for, uh, back and forth to make it in and out as it says there and this is a genuine Corvette part so there is some aftermarket and they all work or you can buy the right fitting here and use another uh, item altogether. But this is the best to have and as long as you got it keep it in there all the time so you never get stuck out with your top off and need to put it back on and you have not, don't have the tool. Okay, now let me show you where you use them. Underneath the visors here, you can see that there's a spot right here that you put your tool in. And then that tool, you can loosen it up or tighten it up, depending on whether you're taking it off or putting it on, of course. And it's exactly the same thing here on the other side. And in the back, we have one that's straight in. It's not going up, but it's going straight in. And we have one on the other side as well. All right, see, I like to do it from the outside, opening the doors. You have a lot, uh, a lot more room than if you're in the car trying to twist it all around to get these out. But remember, you don't take them all the way out. You just loosen them up so the top can come loose. All right, now I'm gonna find the same thing up here all right. Well, you got to find it here. Now, sometimes it helps to open the door so you can get a little closer like I did on the other side. That way you can get right in there. And loose up. It's a little snug. You don't have to over-tighten this when you put it back together. Okay, one of the most important things, before you start taking this off, don't get yourself in a bind and not have the back op hatch open. You gotta have the hatch open because that's where you're gonna put it. So either side you're standing on, you can clear use the door to get that fired up to go. Okay. They're not particularly heavy, but you have to do, I'm gonna pick this up and you put it in, you make sure you get it on those marks to hold it right in there and slides into the rubber too. And they're kind of rubbered so it won't hurt it. And then you take this and you pull back the lever here and it snaps right in and make sure it's in there. Now it's tight. You hear that click? It's tight. Okay, now when this comes down, it doesn't hit it. Better not, right? <laughs> it doesn't hit it and we're all good. Now when it comes to putting your top back on, there's, there's two areas here on the top that you have to make sure it gets in properly. And it's pretty helpful. The first one here, this is where it will actually slide in. It's tapered so that the particular fastener on your target top will hit in the center and center in the hole, which will automatically line up where your screw goes. And of course, when you go through the hole, that tightens it up. And you notice the screw stays in there, so you don't ever have to take it off. But it's ready to go. Now it's important, and this is where you get it tight. And you want to tighten the back first before you tighten the front. Um, kind of keep it loose until you get all four bolts in. Now let's take a look at the back. Now the piece in the back here is also tapered, so you make sure you get it right in the center. Now the first thing you want to do on all four, make sure that you have no cross threads. You don't want to cross the threads on any of this. Make sure it's loose. And then once you get it loose here and loose in there all the way around and the front's loose, then you can tighten it up. 
first you want to do is make sure you got it all in there properly, then tighten the back, and then tighten the front. And that way you will hold it. And you can check it when you're on the road again or come back from a trip. Check it. Make sure it's still tight. They don't loosen up. I haven't had them loosen up, but snug them down. They're part of the structure of the car. Okay, there you go. You wanted a convertible? You got one. Pop the top off, hide it in the back, take off. Beautiful summer day, the wind blowing in your hair. Well, what's hair <laughs> I have? And the nicest thing is it starts to rain. You have a problem. You got your top weight with you. You can pop it out of there, put it back on, screw it down tight. Be sure to screw it down tight. Most of the tops that get hurt or damaged are ones that didn't get screwed on tight. Just got set there, and the next thing you know, they flew off the next time they got out there and destroyed them. They can't take much abuse, and they're about twelve, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars, and some of those are used. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that helps.